What is up guys? I'm going to show you how to enable developer options slash developer tools. What can I do for you? For example, uh, you can say read me my recent messages. Go away. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to enable uh, developer tools slash options, whatever you want to call it. And what this does is you can disable animations on your phone so it makes your phone quicker. Like... When you bring up something, it shows like an animation thing. And cat, get out of my way, please. Anyways, moving on here. Um, anyways, how you do this, you want to open up your settings here. And this is for any Android device, by the way. I believe. Uh, I don't like the tab view, so we're going to switch to list view here. Okay. Notice how there's nothing that says developer. Nothing. Nay. Nada. Zip. Nothing. So, you want to go to about phone here at the very bottom. That's after you do list, list view like I did, if you're wanting to do it my way. Software info. Now, you can do software version or build number. It depends on your Android device. Mine is build number, so I'm going to, when you keep tapping this, you'll keep tapping it, and it'll keep popping up, you're two steps away, three steps away, whatever, and it'll keep, whatever, so I'll show you. See, you're now four steps away from being a developer. Three, two, one. You are now a developer. And that's on build number. So now we're going to go back here. And it should be right there, right above about phone, developer options. Ah! Shut up. No one cares. Now stuff like like if you want to root your phone or jailbreak your phone, you would like enable like check that box so you can plug in your computer and hack it. Um But I was talking about earlier about the uh animation stuff though you uh, I'm trying to scroll down here and find it there it is Windows animation scale okay I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here say I want to change it to it's at 1 right now change, I want to change it to 10 make it slower it looks cooler but it makes it see what I'm saying and this makes it even longer than that right here say it just yeah, so if you turn all this, like, all that completely off here, I'll, uh, go to the, god dang it. Yes, yeah, see what I mean by, I mean, well, it's slower because I increased this thing, but, anyways, yeah, go to developer options and, come on, time is money. See, force GP or in there, and you can force your uh, graphics card in your phone to do other things, I guess. There you go. See, that way it makes it a little bit faster. You know, switching menu wise. But yeah, that's, that's basically all it does. And you can go through and see what your phone has. Every every phone will have different developer option options. Will have different. Um, like my last phone, I'm actually using my G3 to record my LG V10. This is my LG V10. Um, but I'm using my G3, and I know my I know for a fact my G3 don't have like this option. Whatever the hell awesome player is. Um, and disable USB audio routing. It doesn't have anything like that. So you can also uh, don't hit don't keep activities, and it can also make your uh, phone faster. Uh, however, um, basically, what it does is like whenever you exit one app and go into another app, the app you were in previously, it will kill uh, automatically. Uh, so you won't need like a task killer app. It'll kill automatically. However, sometimes there's weird glitches when you use it, and I don't like it personally because when I use it with my G3, 
for example, if I want to use Facebook and I want to upload a photo, if I hit upload photo and I select the photo, okay, from my gallery, it goes right back to my gallery. Like, it kills Facebook and goes right to my gallery. It literally does not upload, it won't even let me upload a photo to my Facebook. So it, it just does weird stuff like that, so I completely disable it. But, um, yeah, so that's how you uh, access developer options you can turn off and stuff like that. So, yeah. Peace.